tuning in to Imperfect Life. So my daughter wants to be a Starbucks cup for Halloween. I looked all over the internet and while I see a lot of great pictures, I don't see many great tutorials. Not for the style that she wants. She wants the actual cup around her body. She doesn't want a dress. She wants the actual cup with the, with the foam and the straw. So I'm going to go ahead and make it myself and I'm going to bring you along with me so that if you want to do this, you can do it too. Here's what we need. First thing you're going to need is a piece of white fabric. Uh, get a yard and a half, at least a 60 inch width. Doesn't matter the, the thickness or the style of the fabric, just get white fabric, whatever's on sale. The next thing we're going to use are two strips, five inch length or five foot lengths of PVC, quarter inch diameter. We're going to cut one down to 52 inches, that will be the top piece, and we'll cut the other down to 44 inches, that will be the bottom piece. Next thing you're going to need is some kind of fabric that looks like that cardboard piece that goes around the middle to keep from burning your hand. So whatever fabric you can find that's kind of that color. I got, um, I think, a half a yard. The other fabric you're going to want is for the cream that's going to go around the top of the cup and on the head. I just got this cream colored felt, super cheap, and it comes in like a 72 inch length, so you get a ton of it. Now, I happen to have a silhouette cameo. So I'm going to do my best to cut out that barista image and um, ad adhere it to the front. If you don't have a vinyl cutter, not a problem. You can just print the logo off and um, affix it to the front of the cut. You're also going to need a thick white headband, which I don't have yet. I'm going to pick that up next time I'm out at Target or Walmart. And then for the straw, you can get an empty paper tube towel. And we're going to paint it green. My daughter has some green paint and we'll stick that to the headband. Okay, we have our starting structure ready to go. I'd rather spend time explaining to you the logistics of putting the cup together rather than demoing, sewing, and cutting because I'm going to assume that most people watching this video know how to do basic cuts and seams. First thing you want to do is cut your white fabric to a length of about 34 inches. My daughter's about four foot three, so I want a finished length of about 30 inches. Okay, so um, go ahead and cut it to about 34. This pattern's gonna be pretty forgiving, so don't worry about an inch here and there. Now, save that scrap and cut another four inch width of the length. We're gonna use that for the sh shoulder straps later on. Then, you can take your cardboard piece, right, the, the insulator. Cut that to about 14 inches. Um, I cut mine to 16 inches and pressed it under because the fabric I got happens to fray a lot. And go ahead and pin it in place about halfway, okay, through that length of fabric. You can eyeball, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, what I really want to talk about is how we're going to make the conical shape. We have the two different lengths of PVC. The top length is 52 inches. Now, the fabric is a 60 inch. So that gives us eight inches excess total. And I, did, I centered it, so that would give us four inches on either side, okay? So what I did was to allow for, um, just to allow for adjustments and seam allowance, I'm going to work with an excess of two inches of fabric per side, okay? I actually have these the other way, sorry. Okay, I'm going to allow two inches to work with. So for my top cut line, I'm going to go two inches in, right? Because recall, if we center this piece, and it's bent so it's hard to see, but if we center this piece, we're going to have an extra four inches on either side. So I'm going to make my cut line at two inches in. Okay, you can disregard this. I started at one inch in and I thought that's too big. So we're going to go two inches in. Then we go to the smaller piece at the bottom. Okay. Now this pipe is 44 inches. So that gives us an extra 16 inches or 8 inches on either side of the fabric. We still want that same two inches to work with. So we're going to make our cut line on the bottom six inches in. Okay, does that make sense? So we have 16 inches to work with, eight inches on either side, 
we want it to cut down, we want two inches on either side excess. So we're going to cut six. And here's our final cut line. Like I said, disregard this one. Um, I first made it for a three inch um, window, but I, don't, I think that's too much. So I'm going to go with a two inch window. Now, so now we have our cut line up here, two inches in, our cut line down here, six inches in. So get whatever cutting or edge instrument you have, whether it's a yardstick or a cutting mat or even a tape measure, and make that diagonal line from the top to the bottom. Okay? So that is going to be your cut line. I did not cut it yet because I wanted to demonstrate it to you. And then you're going to do, come over here and do the same exact thing on this side. I've got a lot of sunlight here, so it's hard to see. But there's my top cut line. There's my bottom cut line. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut. And then I'm going to do an inch and a half casing on the top and the bottom. Okay? Simple casing. Not a big deal. Measure it down an inch and a half and throw a seam in there um, on the underside of the fabric. Okay, so we're done the basic cup. Okay, just to go over what I did, I did cut along those cut lines that came down at an angle, okay, on either side. Then we did stitch on the brown part that serves as our insulator. Okay, and the other thing we did is we made those inch and a half casings for the PVC on both the top and the bottom. Okay, and then the other thing I did is I did get the logo on. Like I said, I have a Cameo, I have a vinyl cutter. If you don't, you can print this off on paper and um, hot glue it. You could print it off onto transfer paper or sticker paper. You have a lot of options here, so don't feel like you have to have a vinyl cutter to get a great finish here. The other thing we don't want to forget about, we took that four inch strip of fabric that we took off the length of the white and I just folded it in half, sewed it down the side, turned it inside out, and um, we're going to cut that later to use for our shoulder straps to secure this on. Okay, we're ready to close our cup and do that last seam, uh, but first we're going to put the PVC into the casings that we made just to make sure that we still have that two inch seam allowance that we um, made in the beginning. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you will also need dowels, okay, quarter inch dowels to close the PVC rings when we finally finish the cup, okay. So this is how you're going to close that loop, okay. You're just going to get a quarter inch dowel. Get them at the hardware store, okay, and just cut them to whatever size you need to. So, go ahead and insert your PVC into the casing. Okay, mine's a little bent, that's okay. You're going to bend it into a circle anyway, so it doesn't matter. And do the top and the bottom. Okay, and you can, you can measure if you want, if you need to get a measuring tape, that's fine. I've already done it. But go ahead and close it, and just make sure that what's left on either end is about two inches. Once you've confirmed that, you can take out your PVC, okay, fold your cup fabric in half, right sides together, okay, and then you're going to do your seam down the open end with a two inch seam allowance. Okay, now we're ready to make the cream. So I, here's a couple that I had already made, and I tried a, a few different ways of securing them in their shape, and with either the sewing machine and the hot glue gun, and it became very clear that hot glue is the way to go to create your cream ruffles, okay? So these are a few I made. You wanna take your felt and cut it into strips of about four to five inches wide and about 24 inches long doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere in that area. And I think the key to making these look good and making these look real is to ruffle them random. So what I did is I just kind of gathered them up. I didn't worry about them being exact. I just gathered them up like that. Any way is fine. Then get your hot glue gun and just secure at every fold. Just glue them together 
at every fold. And then that will keep them in that shape. Okay? So there's one. Okay, and then when you all put them all together, I think I ended up with about 40 of them. Okay, so there you go. The more random the better that it's going to look when we put them all around the rim of the cup. Okay, so we've attached all of the cream pieces and obviously we're going to need some adjustments on some of them. Some of them hang a little bit and once we have um, the straps on and the costume fitted the way we want, then we can make those final adjustments. So once you have the PVC through the casing, you're going to want to put your dowel in. Okay, to put the dowel in, you're just going to maneuver it in there. Should be a snug fit. If you have a quarter inch dowel and the, uh, the interior of your PVC is a quarter inch. Okay, and then you're just going to bend it and be careful to hold on to the dowel or else it will slide completely into one side. You want it <clears throat> equal in both ends of the pipe. Okay? And that secures the pipe and you'll do the same thing along the bottom. Okay, so in order to determine the height that we wanted the cup, I put it on my daughter, I have the straps that we made earlier from the extra length, and I just pinned it in place, okay, to a point where she could um, comfortably move her arms but where she didn't as she says look like a minion so I think we determined where we want the straps I pinned them in place and now we will sew them on and then we will do the final touches on the cream okay so I have an on-the-fly lesson learned here I was sewing the straps on where I pinned them and what I was doing is I was sewing them on the inside of the casing here so this is the exterior of the cup and I was sewing the strap on the sorry on the inside as you can see when I held it up what I realized is what it's going to do is pull okay it's going to pull up on the inside portion of the cup okay so we don't really want that I think it'll it'll kind of <clears throat> misconstrue the shape of the cup when we put it on her body so to mitigate this very easy solution Okay, so what I did is I took that same strap, folded it over, and did an additional seam. So it's now going to pull from the outside of the cup, right? So this one is not done yet. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and show you at the same time. I'm going to fold it over and just throw another seam in there. So that then when, it's, when gravity takes over, it's not going to pull the inside upward. Okay? Okay, so now we've got our straps on and what I'm going to do is fine-tune the cream around the top of the cup. So now we had those cream pieces sewn on or glued onto the inside so now's the time when you can take them out and this is what I'm doing. I'm kind of pulling them out and then adding another drop of hot glue right on the the rim of the cup there and then pulling it down. This will allow the cream to look like it's kind of coming out over the cup. And then you can fluff it out and see where you need to add uh, pieces. I don't know about you, but I had a bunch left over so I can fill in any um, sparse spots with extra cream pieces. Okay? Okay, so we're ready to do the very last part of the costume, which is the headband or the hat piece with the straw. So, I got a white headband. This is just a paper towel roll painted green and one of our cream pieces. So, in order to have the best support of the straw and the headband, I'm actually going to hot glue the straw to the cream piece, uh, leaving enough room along the bottom of the cream piece that I can fold it to glue to the headband. The reason I'm doing this is because this will naturally be top heavy. Okay, so we want to have as secure a base as possible in with the straw. I'm just going to close this in case anybody's looking from the back. I'm going to create an extra little ruffle here because my daughter said she wanted it to be ruffly. Okay, so now we can fold this under 
and we have lots of surface area to glue to our headband, which is going to be important because, like I said, it could be top heavy. So we want to make sure that we have um, as much support as we can as we can get. Not sure it'll be perfect, but you want to do the best you can. She wants hers a little off to the side, but it's really not going to matter. You can place this anywhere. Okay, and we'll hot glue that down. And then we can just put some finishing touches on it. Okay, and that will be the headband. And that's it, folks. I hope this was helpful. I will be honest with you. Um, this was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I feel like if you focused on it, you could easily get this costume made in about a day or two. And I know I paid a total of about, oh, I don't know, $15 for all of the supplies. So cost effective, original, and fun. Thanks for joining me at Imperfect Life. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe.